Collective, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Today is the 4-4 four, four portal, so I'm going to be doing a few readings. This one is a love reading. I'm not going to dig too, too deep in things with the energy right now, but let's see who we are dealing with. I'm going to draw Divine Feminine Energy and Divine Masculine Energy. It's not genders, it's energy. Whatever side sounds like you is you. Whatever side sounds like your person is your person. You both can cross between um, feminine and masculine energies. Too many. Clear and precise, please. Who are we discussing here today with the collective spirit? Harriet the Spy. Could be somebody with red hair or younger, a helper, somebody assisting you, somebody you could have known since childhood, or they're just innocent and childlike, trying to be a good person. Um, I feel like somebody's digging in, digging in here. <laughs> oh my God, April O'Neil. Yeah, investigating. They could be a truth teller. Um, pink popped. I love pink, the artist pink. And Judy Garland popped as well. So you could, this Divine Feminine could have a unique look or a unique voice. Truth teller. Um, they're very good at digging in on information and they're very curious about you um, and your situation. So let's see what the Divine Masculine, what's, what do we have for the Divine Masculine in this collective? Please, Spirit. Please and thank you. Make sure you're protecting your energy out there during this time. Just kept wanting to pop. Prince Akeem, Eddie Murphy, coming to America. These are all either real people or characters, by the way. So this masculine is uh, faking who they really are for some of you. Rocky um, could be a fighter. Um, New Yorker accent has a family, family-oriented um, may have a well-known family. I just feel like this, um, I don't know why I just heard Conor McGregor. That's weird. Maybe you're into Donald Trump. Maybe you're into MMA. John Travolta, Columbus. Okay, they're telling me to put these back. Grouped. I think you're a person of few words or you're not saying anything. You're hiding your identity or maybe you come from money and, and this Divine Feminine doesn't know or this is like spying energy. Because Prince Akeem in that movie, he was a prince. He was wealthy, but he didn't portray that to somebody he loved. I just find, I, I'm finding that energy here. Donald Trump for me, I know this this person pisses a lot of people off. Woo, my throat chakra. To me, I just think this person's mouth may get them in trouble. But overall with John Travolta, think about John Travolta. He's like, he's had a little bit of controversy, but overall he's like a, a well-liked, well-respected person. I just want to see what comes out. They said they want one more. Okay. <laughs> it's like they're pulling for someone here. Mr. Deeds. Okay. Mr. Miyagi. Okay. Oh, Captain, my captain. Could be a captain here. This was uh, Robin Williams' role in a Dead Poet Society, the movie. I feel like you're a teacher. You're very generous with your money. But maybe you don't dress like you have your money or you don't act like you have money. Mr. Miyagi, again, uh, I'm getting like MMA instructor. Yeah. Some of these people could be soldiers here. Maybe they're talking to the Divine Masculine. <laughs> I don't know. They went heavy on there. Let's move on. Let's get some numerology so I can... Actually, let's do astrology. Let's see what your signs are. Their signs. Or it's just energy. I explain the energy in the cards. A 
let's start with the divine mask then i feel like i'm being pulled over here so let's go over here let's see if we can get some precognitive stuff Taurus and Cancer just popped in my head. <sighs> Way too many. That's like 10 cards. <laughs> Clear and precise. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you didn't know I had a gift, well, now you do. Boom, boom. Right off the bat. Cancer and Taurus. I feel like Divine Masculine, you're making a choice. You're reevaluating a relationship you could be in. You're having a change of heart. Aquarius, free spirit. It's like either you're, I think you kind of have some karmic energy going on because my throat chakra is going crazy. Again, Cancer with home. I don't know. I'm getting two things. So I'm going to say it both ways. Some of you are away from home and you're longing for your people, your your husband, wife, kids, whatever, and you want to come home. You want to come home and re reevaluate what's important. Maybe you're spending too much time away from family. For others of you, that's for people who are already married and at a love connection. Most of you, I'm feeling you have something established. You're Sensing in this eclipse time that this isn't it. I don't know if you fell out of love with someone or you're just seeing that you've grown apart or there's too much that went on. I don't know if you've voiced that you have a change of heart, but inside, I think you're longing for either change or somebody else because you have advent adventure and free spirit. You could be going towards this divine feminine over here. Um, or this is you just wanting to be single in this time. So let's get shuffle going. For Divine Feminine, let's get some precognitive. Scorpio, I heard. Aries. <laughs> That doesn't count for I'm just saying. Leo and Virgo. Okay, so what was it? Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Virgo. That's what I heard for Divine Feminine. So let's see what comes out. Libra, so getting some justice. Look at love coming in for you. Gemini, twin flames for some of you. Um, some of you are traveling or you're getting communication from this Divine Masculine over here. Taurus. Feeling good. Looking, you got a glow up going on, Divine Feminines. Oh, <laughs> you might want to collab. I'm not going to take it. Technically, it is Aries, but you might be offered a collab or wanting to collab with somebody creatively. We have Scorpio. There's the Scorpio. A lot of passion. Ooh, I. I don't know why I've got career stuff all of a sudden. I don't know. Are you getting an offer to travel for work? You might be meeting this Divine Masculine through work. Maybe this Divine Masculine, Mr. Deeds, is going to offer you a job. Or you're moving with this person. I see you in love. But to me, this is like love with self. High vibrational. But also could be falling in love with somebody else because we have passion Opportunity 1111 is a twin flame under the Gemini, which is the twins for me. I think you're trying to figure out who your twin flame is. You could be feeling the energy for some of you. Mostly, I just feel like you're having this massive glow up breakthrough moment in your life. I need some clarifiers. Let's start with this divine feminine side is intriguing me over here. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Let me shuffle on camera for you. I mixed a couple decks together, so my baby hands. <laughs> All right. Divine Femmes, what's going on? Hardworking, creative, yes. A 
creative endeavor, something you're doing, Divine Feminine, is paying off. You could be getting an offer soon, or this is like getting more followers, going viral. Very, very prosperous for you, or it's about to be. This fell, but I'm not going to take it. Ooh, setting you up to fail. Restart, rekindling. What does this say? Naive, self-focused, chases, thrills, and fun. I do see some haterator energy here for you. There's somebody fucking with you in the career space. It's like spirits um, butting in here. Or this is what happened. Like you were in a relationship. They were always setting you up to fail. Um, something faded to fail and your life fell off. You could have had a divorce, a breakup, but you restarted. You're rekindling your passion for things for yourself. Um, I don't understand why naive, naive is here. Because I don't feel like you are naive. Spiritual awareness. Okay, so yeah. You're sensing. This is why the Harriet, the spy and all this. You're feeling this karmic energy, divine feminines. You're over here working hard. You have this glow up. I think you're feeling spell work being done to you for some of you. Or you're just feeling like you can't trust this situation. Anything else for current energy for divine feminine? Changing jobs, careers, or lovers. Okay, I like this. So I think you are um, changing a lot in your career space. But some of you, this is you also in the same energy as this divine masculine. Deciding between um, maybe being single or going towards this person. Or leaving another person and being single. I'm getting a little bit of mirrored energy. But I think what I'm sensing is this divine masculine with the job offer i don't know if you're from like different places different companies it's like this divine masculine wants to get this divine feminine to work with them i do think you guys have a lot of creative energy between the two of you i feel magic here so i do feel like either this is going to start as a friendship work thing or this is how divine masculine setting it up with this prince akeem Playing like they want to work with you. Playing like it's only for work. But really, you might fall in love with each other as you work. Or this Divine Masculine is already in love. Or you're already in love. Let's get a shuffle and peek at the Divine Masculine. And see what, what gives there, huh? <laughs> Look at all these cards trying to fall away. There is a little bit of karmic energy. It is Mercury retrograde, so karmics will try to come back. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. Finishing healing for union. Nice. So Divine Masculine has already gotten away from a love interest. I feel like they've already figured out their career stuff. I think Divine Feminine has already figured out their love stuff, but they're still figuring out career. Um, <laughs> I just got... <laughs> my breath stolen breathless energy from divine masculine am i seeing it a little too clearly out there for you divine masculine someone just swallowed really hard but i think you're seeing the potential of what you two are we have yeah illness mental struggles i feel like some addictions here maybe over drinking self-sabotage even unhealthy relationship i think you're with an addict or you were with an addict um or you were an addict during this unhealthy relationship you could be clean now but i think this is the karmic i'm feeling because you're almost healed coming in for union there's a little bit of a warning of setting up to fail there's like a setup energy like the karmic wants to hurt hurt people like physically like i see someone setting up a jump here like this obviously isn't going to be for everybody but if you do have a crazy vindictive manipulative ex that is getting super amped up please please be fucking careful through this eclipse people are gonna go fucking nuts like just stay away they are so toxic i'm getting sick to my stomach just thinking about it 
Ugh. All right, let's move on. <laughs> what else is going on currently with the Divine Masculine? Struggling in a difficult time. I think you are struggling to get out of this toxic relationship. Maybe you got co-parenting stuff. Maybe you have work stuff. Um, there's a mess going on in the Divine Masculine's life. But I think he's anxiously trying to clear it up in hopes to prepare this work endeavor or in hopes to bring this together here, this union. Yeah, juggling. How do I make this all fit? Yeah, clarity, seeking truth. I don't feel like juggling two people here. I think this is a mental juggle because the divine masculine needs to pick between their karmic and this divine feminine. So in their mind, they're juggling between this divine feminine and their karmic at this time. Let's see what the divine feminine wants. At this time, what would the Divine Feminine like or how are they feeling? Let your friends help you. They're asking for advice on what to do if they... Some of your Divine Feminines feel kind of crazy and this is all inner stuff. To me, this would be talking to their guides. Like, is this connection real? Who is my person? They're not exactly sure who you are. They feel your energy but they don't know your face for some of you, but they are feeling like this is worth waiting for. They feel something coming in. They feel you coming, Divine Masculine. They feel your approach, if that makes sense. Let's see what the Divine Masculine wants. It is safe for you to love. They want this karmic energy out. They're very protective of this Divine Feminine. They want to protect, the, protect this union, but they're also, like they said, finishing healing for union. They feel safe that it is to love you, Divine Feminine. They're dropping, they're dropping their guard for you, if you will, lowering their guard. <laughs> they do want to flirt. They want to make their feelings known. They want to get to know you and go on dates. I'm so tongue-tied trying to read the Divine Masculine. Yeah, they they want to give in to this chemistry. There's a lot of passion here, and they want to show that. They want to show it in the 3D. They want to show you how they feel, Divine Feminine. So let's see in the near future what's going to go down between the two of you. Luminosity, seeing the light. You're both going to have in your own time, in your own way, clarity that this is worth diving into. That you, this is something. Divine Feminines, for the ones that you don't really know who this Divine Masculine is, this is getting your answer. It's like you're getting clarity on the who. Choosing each other or seeing that this karmic's got to go. Yeah, resolving conflict and connection. So karmic energies will fall off. If there is, if you do know of this person and there was problems keeping you apart, there is compromise and peace in the future but majority of you this is like making peace with co-parenting issues addictions it's like laying all of that to rest and focusing on this connection you are both in the near future pouring your energy into each other and your future anything else for the near future Inner peace, yeah. A zen comes be before you because you were both or one of you were in really toxic relationships. I feel like you've kissed a lot of toads. <laughs> you, you've been with a lot of bad buddies, if you will. And this relationship just seems to click into place. It seems effortless, even though everybody puts effort in. Like, Divine Masculine's putting effort in. Divine Feminine's putting effort in. But it doesn't feel like effort. It feels very organic. There's friendship. There's love. There's respect. This is right love. There, this isn't fighting in the home. This isn't I dread coming home. This is I'm coming home to somebody I'm happy with. Is everything in your life always going to be sunshine and roses? No. But overall... 
you have a very peaceful connection. You balance each other. You're very sweet to each other. You can motivate each other. You can be yourselves. You are going to date. I um I do feel like this is a very strong wine and dine on the divine masculine. They want to show you how much you mean to them, divine feminine. They want to take their time because I think they feel it's important to you, divine feminine. I I feel this energy of they want you to know that it's not just about sex. It's about getting to know you. It's about your energy. It's about building something with you. That person is going to make it very clear. Chivalry, yeah. They want, see, they, this isn't just about sex. You guys might even be celibate for a little bit or like wait to do all of that and just be friends. This is somebody really wanting to come at you the right way with respect. This Divine Masculine has so much love and and respect. And it's like they're proud of you, Divine Feminine. They'd be proud to have you on, with them, next to them, and vice versa. This is very sweet energy. It's like you. I feel this for both of you, wanting to do by, right by each other, having respect for each other. Yeah, because you, you might be very, very different. Because for me, the yin-yang means twins and that you balance each other out. But to me, it also means very, very opposite from two places, from two worlds, two different um, upbringings, nationalities. But somehow it just fits. Somehow you find balance in it all and it's peaceful. It is something you manifested. It could be a literal person you manifested or just like you were asking for spirit for your person, for the right love, for the one that's going to make you feel good and enlightened and happy. That's coming in for you. Yeah, you're very compatible. You don't have to fake it with this person. You can be 100% yourselves. Beautiful energy. I love this. Anything else for the near future that this collective reading should know? Life purpose. Yeah, you are. They're confirming you are going to work together. You are going to build an empire together, whatever that is for you, whether it's opening a store or writing a book or making a movie or, or just simply building a house together and you raise your family in that house and one of your kids does something great and that house becomes, you know, a museum one day. I don't know. But there's something about you two coming together that is a part of the master plan and you really are going to heal each other and you're going to grow old with each other and you're going to kick out all the toxicities about relationships and life patterns you're helping each other step away from what no longer serves you um and you are eventually gonna you know wow. <laughs> and i feel like you guys are able to let your freak flags fly which is awesome i love this connection i love this energy i hope that you claim this because whoo is it about to get saucy in your life, boo-boo? Yes. For somebody who's celibate, this is the relationship I would, you know, break my celibacy for. <laughs> Just putting it out there, keeping shit real. So hold on, boo-boos. Love is coming for you, and it's coming correct the way you want it. Beautiful. But don't forget to protect yourself through this eclipse. Do your return to senders, say your prayers, sage, carry crystals with you. People are going to get nuts. We're getting even more closer to Eclipse Day. I'm talking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's going to be a shit show <laughs> energetically. So buckle up, boo-boos. The dark ones think they... They think it's their happy hour this time. So don't worry. Cover yourself in the light and you'll be just fine. Don't feed into the bullshit. That's my best advice. Don't feed into it. Just keep it keep it moving. <laughs> Protect your energy. Step away slowly. Let the other people fight it out. You just keep doing you. And don't worry about the end of the world. We are not that lucky to just... Feel no pain and go. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like it would happen in stages. 
Anyway, there's so many theories. Don't listen. I just feel like it's making us all nuts. It's a distraction for something that's probably really going on that we should be paying attention to because that's how it always goes. We shall see. Love and light, everybody. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up or a heart, whichever platform you're watching this on. And I appreciate you so much. And I thank you. And happy eclipse, everybody. Bye.